MX-5 was Arctic's high-end thermal paste product. Although in some batches, there turned out to be separation of the oil. Arctic then offered refunds, and now it's end of life. But here's its replacement, MX-6. Welcome to Machines More. Both MX-4 and MX-5 have good performance characteristics. Although MX-5's mixture issues did make application an issue and it was also very, very sticky. MX-6 is the name of the new thermal paste and it replaces MX-5 as the ultimate performance thermal paste in Arctic's lineup. MX-4 will continue to be offered as a more economical product, which is great because it's a good paste as well. So big thanks to Arctic for providing the test sample. As with other reviews on the channel, I'm not paid by the manufacturers and all testing is independent. Okay, so the new paste, it's not electrically conductive, just like the others. And the application method is still similar. It comes in a tube and you do what you feel is best with it. You can blob it, spread it, exit, whatever floats your boat. Obviously the most important characteristic here is the thermal performance. So let's get right into it. I tested this with the Nocto U12A tower cooler. It has a nickel bit plated base plate. And that was used to cool the Ryzen 7 5800X of the NR200 test system. As you can see here, fantastic performance here from the new paste, about 0.6 to 0.7 degrees better than either MX4 and 5. And uh, these two did test out pretty similarly this time. I'll note that I have seen the MX5 oil separation before in my sample, and even though the application this time seemed okay, it's very likely that the consistency has changed, uh, which, you know, honestly doesn't matter because this is an end of life product. And I just wanted a point of reference for the new paste here. I had actually tested the MX6 in conjunction with the new TP3 thermal pads, but I had to scrub that content from the last video since the date of the press embargo had changed. But it worked well there in that application, although the delta there was smaller than with the CPU and air cooler testing. The new paste, it's gray like MX4, and it's kind of like a cross between MX4 and 5 since it has the gray hue of MX4 and the stickiness of MX5. So yeah, one thing I did absolutely notice was that the paste is still a high viscosity product. So spreading it onto the GPU die was very tricky. And if you've ever used MX5 before and you've experienced that thick stickiness, this one feels a little bit less so than that, but it's still quite sticky. So be careful when removing your cooling solution. Uh, if you're running something like an AM4 CPU, it's very possible you can just pull the CPU out of the socket along with your cooler. One additional tip is that if you're used to just putting a dot in the middle of the CPU, you might wanna pay attention to the corners of the IHS, since the thickness here means that it may not spread as readily. And uh, I definitely experienced that initially when testing this product, so I did make sure to get a few dabs on the corners as well. So for that reason, if you're working with a GPU, I might still recommend a paste with the consistency more like MX4 since it's much easier to spread. So overall, good paste, hopefully no more quality variances, and it sounds like there'll be some promotional pricing on this for now, but uh, otherwise, long-term, that MSRP is $13.99 for a four gram tube, which is a little more than twice the price of MX4, which continues to be a great deal. So fractions of a degree don't bother you, your choice is much easier there. For a dollar more, there is a SKU with six MX cleaner wipes, which if you've ever tried wiping MX5 off, you know, it's tough. These wipes are like magic and other than a strong chemical smell, I would go for this version and uh, just make sure you open a window when wiping off the paste because it tends to linger. So I'll leave links down below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give a like if you found this content helpful. Thanks for watching today.